Hi everyone, welcome back to Hauler Time. My name is Amy and I have got another Timu haul for you today, so stay tuned. So Super Bowl Sunday, how many of you are watching the Super Bowl today? I'm not. <laughs> I typically only watch the Super Bowl to watch the commercials, but I'm not even doing that this year. So, and, and there's a team from my state playing in it. So whatever, I, it's become the Taylor Swift Bowl, I think. But, um, yeah, I, now that, Okay, so don't don't hate on me, but I was a Tom Brady fan. So now that he doesn't play anymore, I just haven't fallen in love with any new players or whatever. So and the Chiefs are here in my home state, but I don't know. They were always good competition for Tom Brady, so I never really cared for them, I guess. And the stupid Rams left st louis so can't vote for them either <laughs> so yeah i'm not i don't think it's any surprise to you all but i am not a sports girl so anyway the family decided to go bowling and they usually so they're really nice they usually do things like that every once in a while to give me a chance to have some alone time and i've been so busy with work lately that i just needed a weekend to de-stress. So yesterday I took a super long bath, watched a bunch of YouTube, and today we've been out this afternoon um, just kind of treasure hunting, I'll say. And uh, yeah, so they're, they've are they gone out to go bowling. They were able, there was a place they went that you could rent a lane. You could rent a lane um, and get it for the whole Super Bowl. So they're out doing that. I don't mind bowling, but I can only bowl like one game before my wrist hurts. And I bowl weird. I Like most people, you know, kind of bowl like this and I go like this. So it, I can't bowl for as long. And anyway, I don't know why I'm just rambling on about this. Let's talk about this. So... I got this sweater on a couple episodes ago, and then I got this on my last episode, I think. And look how well they go together. It's like perfect. It's like every single color practically in this necklace is somewhere in this sweater. So I love it. <laughs> so I thought I'd wear it tonight to, uh, to show you guys. And I... I'm supposed to do, so I also got contacted by Chonker and they sent me um, a cat too. And I know there have been several other people that have been hauling or reviewing Chonkers. And so I kind of wanted to wait a little bit. So I wasn't just following like right after these other people, but Chonker is like, you've had it for five days. Where's your video? And I'm thinking, good grief. For one thing, I hadn't had it for that long because it went to my post office box, so it took me a while to pick it up. And I never can turn around a review in five days. I don't know. I guess maybe if I hadn't been so busy. So I may film that after this, but we'll see. I still have some work I have to do tonight, processing invoices and stuff. So let's get started with the Timu haul. Now, I've got... I got to be careful because I, so with the Super Bowl today, and they've got some ad going for that, they've got extra deals on the site. And so I was able to, I just put it in a $40 order because if I ordered $40, I could get something free. And I ordered a pair of pants for free. So it's like you could get better things than just your 2 and $3 things that you can sometimes get for free. So I put that in. So I got to be careful while I'm on here that I don't accidentally add something to that order. But supposedly there's 30 things in this bag. Um, we'll have to see if they actually all were, are in the 
this bag because some of these things it looks like came in different packages and I'm not sure I got them combined so there may be a couple items missing <laughs> first we've seen this on here I love 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 these I fell in love with these when I was subscribed to Simon Says Stamps monthly subscription because they would they have their own brand of these bags and they would sometimes include those in the subscription box for the month and I just love them. They are very very sturdy. This is a package of 30 and I'm just going to take out one of each size so that I'm not making a bigger mess than I need to. But these things are great for all kinds of things. Sorry, I know that's noisy. So we've got this huge one that's almost the size of two sheets of copy paper, but not quite. And this one's a little bit smaller. And you get multiple of each of these colors. They're all color coded. This one's like a business size 10 envelope size. And a teeny tiny one. And what I love about these is that they're reinforced. Well, for one, they've got a zipper closure instead of a Ziploc type closure. So I really like that. And it's really well sewn in on here. So it's not really going anywhere. But then also you've got this reinforced kind of, I don't think you're going to be able to tell, but it's kind of, it's like this reinforced, um, well, it's string in here that just makes it super super sturdy waterproof although not totally waterproof because this part is not waterproof but if it was standing like this and it got in water it would be okay but I just love these and what do I use these for well I use them for crafting things instead of using just manila folder envelope things um, I like I like putting all kinds of stuff. So when I'm diamond painting, I'll put my tools in one of these. If I'm, you know, going around, if I'm paper crafting, I'll put, so as I'm breaking down the books that I buy at the Goodwill and stuff for pictures, as I break them down and cut out the pictures, whatever, I'll stick the pictures and things like this. My goal is to eventually make kind of ephemera packs to sell to help support this channel, but I haven't got that far yet. But, uh, but yeah, and they would be great for important documents that you want to keep. I don't know. I mean, obviously if you have a house fire and you know, when everything goes up in flames, this is not going to help obviously, unless you've got it in a, one of those metal safes or whatever lead lined or whatever kind of fireproof safe there is but I don't know I just I just like these obviously I think I've bought this may be the third one that I've hauled on here and I've got a bag upstairs for another haul that's also got a set of these in there so I really like the 30 pack but you can also get I think a pack of 12 pack of 24 that are all the different sizes and then I believe that this second largest size you can also get this one just by it you know like 10 of these and truth be told this is the size that I probably use the most because when I'm breaking down books and I lay them flat they kind of fit into this so yeah, I just really like those and for a while there I was getting those on a spin the wheel deal so I was only having to pay half price but I think I think I only got a couple of those because then it was like you can't get any more of those at the half price deal like really rude about it <laughs> so 
So I'm like, okay. But I paid $12.59 for this 30 pack. And it's now $17.98. So I may have still gotten some kind of a deal on that one. But there's lots of sellers that have it. So um, shop around to get your best price. Next, I finally, this is my sock sorter. So I've been buying all those socks. Now I have the sorters to go in my dresser drawers. So I got a three pack. This is a three pack of the, although these don't, this one looks different than these two. Well, I thought I was getting a three pack of just the sock ones, but now it's looking like maybe I got the three pack that has one sock, one underwear, and one bra, which if I did do that on accident is okay because I have all these Timu bras that I don't have spots for yet, but I was intending to just get sock ones. So anyway... And you can find stuff like this at the Dollar Tree. I mean, there's not really anything special about the Timu ones. It's just a, it's a netting with, you know, dividers. But this is the one for socks. So you can put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, that's kind of random. You can put eleven pairs of socks in here, but these end ones kind of have more space and then you just stick it in your drawer and then it looks like this is the underwear one so that's kind of a bummer I guess I didn't read closely enough so this one's got a little bit bigger spots for underwear one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, a random number, seven. Yeah. <laughs> um, for underwear. These are kind of the same like width as the sock one, but you just have more space. Which, I don't know. My underwear doesn't take up more space than my socks. So it's kind of about the same. And then this is the one for bras. Oh man, these really stink. <laughs> really, really stink. Ugh. Kind of smell a little bit like burnt plastic. So anyway, and then in this bra one, you can hold six. So... Yeah, a little disappointed that those were not all sock ones. But that being said, I only paid $1.88 for it, so it must have been on a deal too, because right now it's $4.98. Yeah, so I don't know why I thought that they would... The picture clearly shows that it's all three kinds. So I'm not sure, maybe it was a different order that I placed that has the one that's all socks. Hmm. I don't know, but that was $1.88. I mean, you could probably find all three of those at the Dollar Tree, but they'd be all separate. So, so I guess that would compare to the $4.98 that they are now. All right, next I got pet brushes. So you may recall, it's been a while ago in a different haul video, I talked about the fact that we have dogs in our office and we have, that are, two, there's two dogs that are regularly there that one dog, the girl dog <laughs> belongs to the owner of one of the sub, sub tenants that we have in the building. And then the male dog belongs to one of our officers, um, chief officers in our company. And so I got, they're always coming into my office because they just roam around the office. 
and it's a big space and they will come and visit me for pets and stuff. I don't have treats because I don't know how their owners feel about treats. They always come in to, to be pet, petted. And one of them has really, really, the girl has really, really thick fur. And I don't know what kind of dogs these are. Well, one of them is a shepherd, an Australian shepherd. That's the boy. But the other one is some kind of huge black, maybe a black lab. I don't know. But she has really thick fur and I'm always like, oh, I'd love to brush their hair. I don't know if they'll like it like cats do. Cats really like that. But anyway, so I got one for Millie and one for Croce <laughs> to take into the office. And because I, I also don't want to use the same brush on each dog, you know, in case I don't want to spread, spread anything. But I have one of these for my cats and they like, they like it. So it's just got the comb part and they're kind of, you can see they're bent, um, bristles. I'm not sure why that is, if that's just makes it easier to brush, but you brush them. And then when you're done, you can push the button and then get all the fur off. So, one for Millie and one for Croce. And the blue one was more expensive when I bought it. It was $2.97. The pink one was $2.57. And the blue one's now $2.48. The pink one's now $1.68. They also, it also comes in gray and green. Green is the most expensive color. So yeah, so I'm hoping that I'll take them in tomorrow. Although we're supposed to have snow tomorrow. You guys, it was 75 degrees here yesterday or Friday. And then we're supposed to get snow tomorrow. Come on, we're all going to get sick again. And of course it's supposed to do whatever kind of snow it's doing during the driving hours, both in the morning and in the afternoon, the commuting hours. So that's awesome. Oh, I hate driving in weather. I hate it. It makes me wish I was in still living in a small town because the drivers be crazy here. <laughs> All right. Next, this is a repurchase. I have, well, bought these before. These are nice kind of microfiber cloths. And if you've been around for a while, you know that I used to sell Norwex. And really like Norwex, but it's expensive. And and you can, this is just a simple microfiber cloth. It's not even very thick. Like you can see through, you can see through that. But my girls really like using the Norwex cloths to remove their makeup and to wash their face. Cause I have some of the face ones and they go through them like crazy. So I'm like, forget that. I'm just going to buy a set of these and there's different colors. So you've got your dark pink and your light pink and your kind of minty green and then your white. So each girl can get their own color. So that way they're not fighting about, you use my towel, you use my washcloth, because that happens, of course. <laughs> and then, I don't know, maybe I'll keep, use one of them for me. So yeah, so you get a really good supply of these and it's important to note that you need to wash any kind of microfiber stuff just with itself because if you wash it with other fabrics it will they will collect in this and then it won't be it won't be as good and that goes for the ones that you can buy at the Dollar Tree or even your high-end ones all microfiber so we just have a basket in our house that all the dirty Norwex goes into and then these things will go into that too but these, I got the 20 P 
piece set, but you can get 10, 20, 30, or 50. They call them scouring pads. They're not, they're, they're not scouring pads, but you could definitely use them in the kitchen to wash dishes, clean off, you know, a replacement paper towel kind of thing. Um, and then put them in your thing to wash. The thing I like about Norwex and there's cheaper non MLM companies that make stuff like Norwex, but Norwex has that silver that or copper, one of those that goes through it. So they're kind of self, um, cleaning like mold it is very hard for mold to grow and on those kind of things. But, um, so these don't have that, but who cares? They still do come with a nice little hanger so you can hang them while they dry. But one thing I got to figure out how to teach my kids is they need to wring things out. They will literally take, take a cloth like this, wash their face. It'll be sopping wet and they'll go hang it up over the toilet paper. <laughs> so, oh, I get so frustrated and I don't know if it's when I was, so I'll tell on myself when I was their age, I would go and stay with my grandparents for a week each summer, both sets. So I would be gone for two weeks out of the summer, um, to each of my grandparents and my grandfather on my dad's side is a wood, was a woodworker, wood crafter, cabinet maker. I mean, you know, that was, that was what he did kind of in re retirement or as he was a teacher and he would do that on the summers and stuff. So he created lots of furniture, some of which I own and am really sentimental about. But I guess one time when I was there, I must have left a wet towel hanging over a wooden chair. And I was upstairs in the bathroom and I could hear through the vent my grandfather complaining to my grandmother about how I had left this wet towel on this wooden chair. And doesn't she know that water is not good for wood and it'll warp it and it'll, you know, all this stuff. And so ever since then, I have a big pet peeve about wet things on wood. So yeah, so, and we of course have um, hardwood floors upstairs. And so anytime somebody spills something, I like, I'm going crazy, like, ah. But, um, but yeah, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be that way because it's always an accident and it's not worth hurting the kids' feelings. I mean, they, it's, there's a way to tell them how to clean things up and what's important without making them feel bad. But yeah, I kind of, I don't know. I've been super sensitive to that ever since I was a kid. So anyway, I don't know why I'm off on that tangent, except for the fact that I need my kids to wring out their cloths when they're using them. And yes, I talk a lot on this channel. <laughs> so if you don't like a lot of talk, this probably isn't the channel for you, but this is kind of girl talk, chit chat, whatever kind of time. So if you like, if you like speedy Timu hauls, this is not going to be for you. But anyway... I paid $7.47 for this pack, and if you get the 20-piece pack today, it's $6.36. And it looks like you could get just 10 white or 10 pink or 10 green all by themselves in a 10-pack if you prefer one color. But I like having multiple colors because you know I like to color code things for my kids. So... There is that. Actually, let me just shove these back in this bag so I can take it upstairs. But this is a nice size. I love all these Ziploc bags because these are also good to put crafty things in. Or shoes when you're traveling or other things when you're traveling. These bags, though, not so much. These go in the trash. All right, so now we've got a few crafty items that I've pulled out. Okay, so this stamp set is a, well, 
Okay, don't yell at me, but just about all of the stamp sets on Timu are stolen, right? I don't think they create anything new of their own. And you can also tell that they steal things because, like, for those of you that that scan things, whether it's for work or personal or whatever, there's a thing called OCR, which kind of converts text in, from a scanned image into, like, a Word document or whatever. Well, you can tell Timu steals some of those things because their OCR program doesn't convert some of the letters correctly. And that's how you end up with weird words on things because it didn't copy it right. So anyway, I obviously don't seem to mind buying stolen, um, stolen works of art. So this is from Tim Holtz. It's like his tiny toadstools or whatever, but I got it because of this stamp right here. So any of you that watch Seven Plaza, she has a a stamp that she uses to like to simulate raindrops or splatter. Splatter is what it is. And so I asked her on one of those videos, I said, where did, you know, is that stamp part of a set that's still available? And she said it was from the Tim Holtz tiny toadstool one so of course I went to Timu to find it because well of course it's the Tim Holtz brand is expensive and it's high quality this is good enough quality for me and looking at this this I think I think these are probably smaller than his um, version but it's got the splatter stamp on it and I've been looking for a good splatter stamp. So several stamps I've gotten from Timu have splatters on them, but this, I guess, is the one. And who doesn't like some mushrooms or toadstools? Plus, it's got, like, a thing for canceling stamps and then just some writing. And I won't be doing an after show with all these craft things. I don't know. I do... I do want to keep doing those, but I just am too busy right now. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm just hoping I can get unbusy in time for my kids' spring break so that we can take a mini vacation, which luckily happens to not be on a payroll week, which now matters to me since I have to do payroll. And so now like half of my, because we're bi-weekly payroll, so half of my weeks in the year are kind of out of contingency for taking a vacation. Okay, where is this? Okay, so I paid $1.93 and it's now $1.79. Yeah, so far, so it has been, so for those of you maybe that are new, welcome. I, at the beginning of January, got a new position in my current company I became the accounting manager. I don't know why it's got the word manager in it, except that I'm managing all of the accounting financial functions. There is nobody else that does. We have somebody in HR, but there's nobody else that does anything with accounting. So I'm, I'm the whole kit and caboodle. And I have not done payroll myself for like 20 years since I worked at the library in Lincoln, Illinois. And, um, and so I've done two payrolls now, and this next week is another one. And I've made a goof each time, now fixable, because all this kind of stuff is fixable. Everybody got their paychecks on time, so that's the important part. But one, the first time, I didn't know I had to, like, log into the 401k program and, and actually send money to the 401k, because I thought that my QuickBooks was doing all that because it does that with the taxes. Why isn't it doing it with that? And I think there may just be some stuff I got to set up differently. But then the second payroll, I missed somebody's expense reimbursement because I have a report that I run to see what expenses need to be added to people's checks. Well, I ran that report for the pay period range. Well, they had dated theirs from before that. So I missed it. And it was like, $1,200. I paid them $3.95 out of their 
this. <laughs> so had to issue a direct deposit just for what I missed. So I'm hoping, knock on wood, that third time's a charm and I'll get it completely right this week. But whatever. The, the, everybody has been super nice and patient. But it's still unnerving. Like, I don't want to be screwing up like that. Okay, so next I've got just this kind of crackle stencil to add distress to paper. And this cost $1.44 and it's now $1.34. Ooh, and then, okay, so these are some PET or PVC stickers. Let me get it right. Where is this? Um, well, I think it, does it say? No, it doesn't. Okay. Grab yourself some tea and a crumpet and I will be... Let me figure this out because I was pretty sure that the only things in this bag were from this order. And I'm not finding it on here. So now I'm curious. Let me look at this particular package. Copy it. Go do my search real quick. Search for that shipping ID. Okay, well, there were. This is from a different order. Well, this is from a different order, so I'm just going to hold it and put it with that order because otherwise that other order is going to be super, super small. And let me make sure I'm back to where, okay, I'm back to where I need to go. So I'm going to save this for later. Okay, this one is in here. It's a shirt. Just in time too, right? I can wear this, what, on Wednesday? Is it Wednesday or Thursday? Oh, I like this one. That is super pretty. And it's nice and soft, although it's the soft that kind of goes with shiny. But yeah, I really love the colors. And I always love bright colors on a black background. The neck looks kind of big, but... Um, I'll try this on at the end so that we can see, but I got this in a 1X on the plus side, so it's a 14. I paid $8.49 for it, and it's now $8.06. But yeah, it's nice. it is soft, so, and it doesn't, it doesn't, well, it sort of looks shiny, I guess, but that's kind of the nature of a printed shirt, right? But yeah, that, I mean, I do have, I think I need to wear something Valentine's Day all week because I've got two sweaters and now two shirts. So that's at least four days this week I need to, oh, and I forgot to bring down my sign. Oh, see, <laughs> so I was talking with, um, hey, everybody, and she made a comment that she is really good about acquiring things like that is one of her talents and i was laughing because i feel like that's me too really good at acquiring stuff and then i think she said really good at losing it promptly thereafter or not being able to find it or something and that's like me to a t because even though i've had this thing up on time i, I now should have it's halfway through February already. I should have had my 
Valentine's Day one. So I, I'll probably find it in time for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I found my movie advent cards for Christmas about a week ago while my husband found them. So yeah, so I'm really good at, at getting stuff, but not utilizing it in time. So I need to, when I finally do find it, put it in a, maybe I could put the, store them in one of these that I put Valentine's Day on. And then I'll ha maybe have like a box where I've just got each of the, you know, that's actually a pretty good idea. Because those flags would fold in half and fit in one of these put Valentine's Day or whatever holiday it is and then get a box and just have them sitting in there and they get stay protected from I'm gonna try that will I really try that I guess we'll see <laughs> but I at least like that idea all right let's see I've got a few more craft things let's see if these are in this order oh, I'm pretty sure that one is let me look at these other ones. H. <laughs> the only defining value is as it says H. Okay. I'm feeling kind of hyper. Do I seem kind of hyper? Okay, I don't think that one's in this order, so I'm going to skip it. But this one is... This is another one in the series of postcards that I've been getting. And this one's Van Gogh. And there's a picture on the back of all the postcards that you get. And these are real postcards, so you can send them through the mail, which is awesome if you're someone who still communicates that way. I won't show you all of them, but they're just all of his artwork on a postcard well this one's kind of weird so i don't know you could still turn it this way i guess and write on one side and put the address on the other so anyway starry night and i like how they tell you at the bottom which one it is, where it's at. So this one is at the Museum of Art in New York. So these are great for, like I said, actual correspondence or for crafting. You could cut out one of these pictures and make a card out of it or just add your own stuff to it to make a journaling card. I mean, actually, these are really good for journaling cards because the whole back is blank. So you could literally just stick this in a pocket or something. So that is a pretty good deal. So there's a, there's still a few of these out there that I have not gotten, but I think I've gotten all the ones that I thought I would actually like and use. So there were 30 of these in here. I paid $3.98 and then they're now $3.59. Ugh, whenever you're trying to get them back in the box. Oh well, forget that. Ooh, I hope this is in this order. It is, okay. So we've got some really pretty lace. Timu is a great place to get lace. Not big rolls of lace, but like a yard of lace. Which kind of makes sense, right? I mean, I would, I would think a lot of really pretty laces would come from Asia. So this one is a pretty two-tone lace. And with purple and cream. And it's beautiful. Um, this feels like I got more than a yard's worth, but I don't want to unroll it all. But look, I mean, the embroidery on that is beautiful. And the, this came in multiple color combinations. I paid $1.48. Okay, you get two yards. 
for $1.48. It's now $1.59. And there's six different color combinations that they have in this. So I think I might actually get some of the other ones because that's just beautiful. Really like that. I need to get a storage system for my laces. I thought about making some kind of bobbin, like flat bobbins with a, a die, like to run through my die cutting machine. But I don't, I think that would be too thin a paper. So I might cut, come cut some stuff out of some of my old cardboard boxes so I can wrap them around that. So yeah, I really like that. All right, let's see if these are in this order. Okay, yes, now this is another stolen probably, t I think it's a Tim Holtz. I don't know what the actual Tim Holtz name of this one is. Um, or if this is the same size. I feel like I feel like his are probably more are probably bigger. But I like this one. It's kind of steampunky, right? Um, got kind of a conductor here. Got some really cool letters. Um, a watch face. Oh, and it's got this cute number down here, register. So you Seven Plaza fans would love that. And some cool borders. Claims for errors must be made on receipt of goods. And then another one says forfeit move if you do not wish to change. I want a number up here too. So really like that set and I paid $270 and it's now $278. I'm gonna do that later, I hope. I do like to put those back in their plastic containers until I get them into a binder. Okay, let's see if this one's on here. Yes, okay, so this one is just another stencil to kind of like rips and tears in paper. So really simple. And I paid $1.73. It is sold out, but another vendor has it for $1.34. And then these, okay, these are a super big disappointment. And I should have realized, but I, I don't know. They do have, so these are handkerchiefs. They do have actual embroidered handkerchiefs on Tibu's site. These are just printed, which is why I was disappointed. But nevertheless, I could still use these. They're just not as vintagey as I maybe was hoping. There are, I wanna say 10, 12. There's 12 in this set. I paid 5.98. They are sold out with my seller, but another seller has them. So you can still use this. I can still cut this up with my pinking shears and make pockets or glue them on to something or even just put it in a journal like this and have pockets. So I, I could still use it. It's just not, if I'd been paying attention, I would not have. Um, yeah. And since it's sold out, I can't tell you how it was described, but I really thought I was getting embroidered ones. I mean, they're pretty. It's just different with them being a print. So I'll just show you a couple more. I'll show you a purple one. Another blue one. 
and I don't know if you get, I don't, I think they're all different. Like I'm not seeing any duplicates here. I mean, I'm seeing duplicate colors, like there's multiple blue ones, but they're different. Multiple purples, but they're different. So, I don't know, we'll figure some, some way to use those. All right, let me make sure I didn't cover up something that I need to show. Okay, no. Next, I got some elastic. I got this to go in junk journals because if you don't want to sew in a signature, you can put elastic or whatever around the whole thing and then just slide your papers in and out. So I got some purple elastic to do that with. And there's a lot here. Um, 16 yards for 79 cents and they have multiple colors. So that's a good deal. And then this, let me make sure this is in here. Yes, so then this is a another sticker book. And let's see. Okay, so these are matte. Oh, that's nice. I really like when they're kind of a matte look. Um, They're a little bit hard to see. Well, those are easier to see. So tickets. Oh, so half. Okay, hold up. Let me see what we're dealing with here. Okay, there's three different kinds of stickers in here. There's the matte stickers. Like that. And then... There are PVC, PET stickers, so the clear ones. And then at the back, you've got ones that are just on white, so just regular stickers. And it looks like you get the most of those. And is that the same one as we saw in the other section? No, it's not. So they do appear to all be different. Every page appears to be unique. And I've said this before. I like I like the book ones to where you just have a book that you flip through. So then I don't feel like I have to put it in something else. So I think I may have already said what this costs, but let's just do this again. I paid $2.48. You get 20 sheets. And I got the one that was paper collage and then they've got it looks like six other versions of it some of which look like ones I'd like to have they have one that's called old bills I wouldn't mind having that one so yeah 219 now okay oh Oh, that's not good. There's just a random, random thing. I think that goes with something I already pulled out. Okay. Next, I got a pair of cuticle scissors. And I hope they actually work. I have, like, like I've gotten a tweezer set from Timu that had cuticle scissors in it. But they don't cut worth squat. So I'm hoping that these are better. Oh, they come with a little cap. Oh, I, I still need to do laundry today. Ugh. I guess I, I guess I need to do that before I do chonker. 
All right, so it comes with a little protective case, but they're just teeny tiny. I wish that this part was longer because I'm wanting to use this to cut book bindings. So the books that are sewn, because you kind of got to get dig into the center binding. And right now I'm using a dentist tool because I got a dentist tool set off of Timu. And there's one that's got kind of a little, um, it's like a little spatula that curves up that, that I can kind of lift them up, but then I need to go in and cut. And the other ones that I had were just not cutting it, literally. So let's just see, take this receipt. Oh, well that cut great. Oh, awesome. So, okay, so I'm happy about that. And we're, we're just gonna ignore that that little part of the receipt fell on the floor. I'm sure I'll get that someday. But these are stainless steel, 387. And they're now $1.59. Oh, they call them silver Russian scissors. They have a curved blade. Great for eyebrows. Now, I, I could probably stand to do stuff with my eyebrows, but I am not going to. And I, I would never, well, not never. I do sometimes when you get a hangnail, I'll take fingernail clippers and cut them, but I don't think I'd ever use scissors. I'm just not. I'd be bleeding, I think, after that. All right, next. Okay, this is not in here, so I'll do that later. Ooh, what is this? Oh, is this in here, I hope? Probably not. Okay, it's not, but I'm going to haul it anyway, so I don't know what it costs. But this is the bracelet helper thing to help you put on your bracelets. Now, some of you, this seems to be a very divided fan base on these as to whether this really works or not. Some of you love it, some of you hate it. But the idea is you would clip your bracelet like one end of it I guess not the lobster claw end but the other end you'd clip into this and then you'd hold it and then you could clip it you know to yourself so I got a pretty rose gold one I don't know what it cost yes I know I could have just showed you everything in this bag but I really have been trying to just do single orders at a time so that I don't run out of, although I'm never going to run out of content because I, you, sh I've got, I've got multiple reviews that I could be doing and I've got like four boxes from Grove Collaborative that I need to show you guys. I've got a yum, another yum yum box came in. All right, so this next thing is just a rotating um, hook. I got this to go in the bathroom because it's, it's plastic coated. It seems to be plastic everywhere so that um, you could put a loofah on each, hang on each one of these, or like I, this is going to sound weird, but, um, Norwex has these dishcloths, these mesh dishcloths. So it's a, just a big mesh panel. And that's what I use as my loofah because <laughs> I can scrunch it up, wash everything, and then undo, you know, get it back to its normal size and rinse it out. And it just seems cleaner that way than a loofah. But anyway, got this to go in there to hang our stuff from. And I paid 98 cents for that. And it's now $1.48. And it also comes in, oh, it's, 
The white is 98 cents. You can also get it in silver for $1.48. All right, let's see if this one is in here. I'm gonna lose this stuff before I actually ever get to show you guys. Okay, it's not in this one either. All right, let's see if any of this stuff is. I feel like I've hauled these before. Okay, these are PET stickers. They're black. I think floral. Yeah, they're all floral. It's a nature series. Because everybody's seen black flowers out in nature. I'll just take out a few. So just, they're stickers. These would be great over text. So if I only had a book page down here, I could show you, they'd be great to put over that kind of thing. And if you had the right kind of marker, like would an alcohol marker, would you be able to color this in? And that could be pretty. I just don't know what kind of marker doesn't smear on this kind of a sticker. So anyway, oh, and it looks like you get two of each image. So it's a 40 pack and they're waterproof. So you could put them on a, your Stanley cup kind of thing. I paid 245 and they're now 258. Let me get these put back because these, if these fell on the floor, I would never see them again. Or they'd be stuck to the bottom of my shoe. All right. Okay, I think that's this. So if you've been around for a while, you know I've been looking for plastic placemats kind of like they had in the 70s and the 80s to tea dye or coffee dye paper and every time I get disappointed because the doilies that I buy even though it acts like they're heat resistant or um, waterproof they still end up being like lace so I'm still on the hunt for one that really is plastic and this one's lace Ugh pretty though and I think it would still work for what I'm trying to do because it's sturdier I mean it's not a delicate lace but it's pretty so if you were wanting sorry if you were wanting a pretty doily I mean that's a pretty doily you could think of all kinds of uses for this you could cut it into cut it in half and then cut it in half again and then you have a really pretty pocket you could tea dye this itself so it's not bright white if you're somebody who doesn't like working with bright white kind of make it vintage one thing I know people cut these but do they like it's probably kind of like a nylon or acrylic kind of material so would you like melt the edges so it didn't unravel or would you just say the heck with it it's gonna hurry up and glue it to something and then you don't have to worry about it but yeah I, I like that I think it's pretty it's just not quite the material I was looking for but I paid a dollar 81 and it's now a 224 okay I think this is the bag that that other thing fell out of which I don't think I'm showing you guys. <laughs> Can you imagine? No other hauler would do that. If they pulled something out of the bag, they're going to show you what it is. And here I am saying, nope, not going to show you that yet because I got to save it for another haul. Rude. Okay. 
Yeah, I do apologize though. I, I usually try to go through them when they arrive and then I, I mean, I look at some of the stuff, but I try to go through and put the orders back together the way I intended them to be, the way I ordered them. And obviously I failed. Okay, what on earth is this? What does this have? What does it say? Maybe I should say this will spark um, some interest maybe to watch my next video. All right. But I did realize I got something out that I did forget to show you, which is in this order. And it's this deck of cards. Botanical Inspirations deck and book set. How do I open it? I really like having cards that I can... Okay, so they all look like this on the back. And then, so this almost looks like some postcards that I got. And I didn't really like the postcards, but these are prettier. So it's a lily and it tells you a little bit about what a lily is known for. Majesty and virtue. Oh, and my favorite flower, the lilac. First emotions of love. Love is the magician that pulls man out of his own hat. So these are really pretty cards. I mean, just show you a few. It's really pretty. I really like these. I would buy these again. So you get, well, it says one set. How many does it say? How many are in here? 44 cards. They each have quotations. Oh, it says, okay, so charming gift set includes 44 cards with quotations, a 100 page illustrated guidebook, fold out guide to the secret language of flowers and a drawstring organza pouch. Well, I didn't get all of that. I just got the cards. So oh, what is this? So there's something here. Secret language of flowers. It's a cute little ephemera piece. That's the fold out guide. But yeah, I don't have the organza bag or the 100 page illustrated thing. So now I'm going to look to see if it even mentions those in the. Watch it be sold out and I won't be able to tell. It is. It's been discontinued. Doggone it. Uh, does anybody else have these? I don't see anybody else. Well, yeah. Okay. So, so I don't know. It says one set, which could refer to the cards, but why does the box say... that it includes those other things. Well, I paid 287, which for a deck of cards is a decent price. And well, it's discontinued. All right, so I got another set of the beauty bracelets. I don't know what they're called. What are they called? Wrist, face, spa, wash bands. My 
one daughter took my pink ones without permission and used them to the point where they started to come undone at the seam and they were all kind of gross because somehow she got makeup all over them because of course I guess <laughs> what she was doing so I ordered another set because I love these and for these few weeks that I've been having to wash my face without them it's like it you use them if you've for some reason never seen these you put them on your wrist while you're washing your face so that any water stops here and doesn't go all the way down your arm or drip on your body or whatever they come in all different colors I paid 89 cents. They are now 98 cents. And they come in pink, a couple different colors of pink, gray, white, purple. So yeah, I should have probably, since at 90 or 89 cents, I should have ordered more. I should have just ordered all the girls a set and been done with it. Different colors, of course. All right. Then I ordered another pack, and I'm just going to pull up one because the pack is open, of these hooks. I really like these hooks. Um, for some reason, these just, I don't know, it, it's, they, they stick well. I don't really notice a problem with them falling off. And I think I was trying to hit some kind of a minimum purchase, so this was an easy add. But you get 10. I paid a dollar twenty-eight. They're now twenty-eight cents. What? Oh, twenty-eight cents for one or a dollar twenty-eight still for ten. Who would buy just one? I mean, really? I guess maybe the person that I would like to be would buy one. Buy only what you need, only what you will use. Don't buy 10 just because it's cheaper to per unit to buy 10 if you're never going to use the other nine. I don't know. I'm always one that's like, I don't know. I go for the deal for the unit price, which is probably silly because then I probably waste and more wasteful that way. What do you guys do? Are you more used to just looking for a deal or you don't want to be a hoarder so you only buy one? <laughs> like the concept of just buying one of those to me is, I don't know, I'd be in awe of that person I think that can just buy one. They probably have such a nice looking house or apartment or wherever wherever they live it probably looks very nice and orderly and clean and then there's me <laughs> isn't this adorable look at this box and it didn't come in styrofoam which is kind of awesome and it doesn't appear to be um okay well i spoke a little bit too soon this this little corner is a little dented in but it's not so far it doesn't appear to be affecting anything but it's got brass hardware nice leather carrying strap and then just on one side well that's weird I guess that's aesthetically speaking they don't care if it doesn't look the same on both sides and then it's just a really nice box so that may become another card box for me, but it also would work, you know, with things going this way. Wonder. Oh, looky there. Fits the green ones. So yes, yeah, so they had a few different ones of these and I just thought it was pretty. Be your own kind of beautiful and who doesn't like mushrooms once again and it's a very sturdy box so and I guess I should have looked was it felt lined inside no it's like a canvas black canvas 
inside. There you can kind of see. So yeah, not too shabby. I want to have pretty things to put my junk in. So it was a hand, wooden handcraft storage box. I paid 404. Okay, so I think I must have gotten this on a deal because it's now 1189. And I don't know that I would pay 1189. But it's imitation bamboo woven pattern for your sundries. So yeah, that was a good deal I got. All right. Oh, I'm not seeing these items either. So I really did kind of biff it on this one. And I apologize. I need to be putting these things in a different bag so that I don't lose them from showing you guys. But won't it be fun when I finally do get, get to these things? If I were smart, I would just do another Timu video right after this. But I have to, because of my stupid computer, my my nice recording studio here, I have to literally process I can't I can't even record a second video until I've processed this one. And so by the time I so like I'll work on my invoicing while while this is processing and while it's uploading. Because then I have to literally delete it from my system before it'll let me record more. Okay, well this, my daughter's been asking me where is her clip. Well, it was apparently in the Timu bag. All right, these I know are in this. All right, so these are more of those data ties. I think I got a kind of a multicolored set on a different haul, and these are just the red ones. They're great too if you have a cord or something that you want to affix to something, or if you're just trying to corral cords. Although I think the Velcro tape is maybe better for corralling cords than these things, because these things, even though they're stretchy, it's still pretty small and it doesn't stretch a whole lot so this would work for your iphone cord and stuff but it's not going to work for regular cords but i use one of these to affix my iphone cord to um part of the dress part of the table that's next to my bed so that it doesn't fall to a spot that I can't get to. So I just got one of these holding it kind of in place. Actually, I think the cord itself, which was a Timu cord, came with one of these on it that I use. But yeah, so better than a twist tie, right? Reusable, but not overly stretchy. And then let's see what this is on here. There's still several things in this order that we haven't seen yet. Watch them be in a different bag. Oh, that'll be annoying. Where did I? Oh. All right, this is in this order. This is a nail polish holder. And do I have, so I, I don't have very many. Oh my gosh. I need to, I, it's been a while since I've done my nails, but I've got, that's another thing I need to review is I got a gel powder set that I need to review. And of course, whenever I get one of those nail things to review, I get one nail that like breaks to the quick. 
So that's kind of why I haven't been using this lately because I need to do that video. But um, they sent me an email like, when are you going to get this done? And so I wrote them back and I said that I would do it this weekend. And then I don't know if it, somewhere in China or something, but they had like two weeks off. So their office is closed. I'm like, well, I guess you don't really need me to do it right now. But anyway, you would put your polish in here and then um, it would hold it and keep it from falling over while you're using it. They probably sell these at Dollar Tree too. I don't know. I've never looked for them, but it seemed like a good thing to get. So I paid a dollar thirty-four. And it is now a dollar forty-eight. Okay, yeah, so there's several things from this order that are missing. So if I were smart, I would just show you guys all this other stuff. But how long? Oh my gosh, an hour and 15 minutes. Oh, I am so sorry. I do not norm. Well, that's not true. I do talk a lot, but I did not realize that time had gotten away from me. Let me see if either of these things were on this order. And if not, we are going to stop because I need to get this processed so that I can maybe get a second one done. Yeah, these are not in this order. So we'll save those. I need to try on a shirt for you. So let me pause and do that and then we'll be done. So hang on. All right. So I like the shirt, but it's very big here for me. And so I don't know if that means that, I mean, it's like, it's okay now, but it's very, it's not moving much before my whole bra is showing. So, but aside from that, yeah, see, I'd be constantly feeling like I've got a, how do you fix that ladies? Do you get, I have some of that tape stuff and would I just kind of tape it in place? Garcin, it makes this kind of bunch up. I can't really pull it back because of my no shoulders. <laughs> but otherwise it fits. It fits great aside from that. So or would I wear a tank top under it? I don't know. See? Normally I would just not wear this or wear a sweater over it that came over farther. I guess that would be an option, especially if it's cold. But I really love the colors of this. So I will figure out some way to wear this. But I feel like I've got some of that tape stuff, but I don't feel like that sticks very well. And maybe it's because it's Timu brand. But yeah, I don't know. But... I love it, aside from that. I mean, it hangs well, it doesn't cling anywhere. It's decent in the back. So, I'll figure out some way. Oh, does this go with my... Let's just see. So, okay, so that could work. I mean, it's not, it's not got this color in it per se, but it's pinky. I don't know. Or maybe I'll wear a, I've got a, I could wear white or black cardigan over this. Although it's really hard for me to wear black, solid black things because with my psoriasis, I feel like I'm constantly looking to see if I've shed all over things. But anyway, I never held up anything for a thumbnail, did I? These were pretty. Let's try these. Oh, but I'm not going to have my pretty 
oh well whatever my pretty um timu shirt and necklace or sweater and necklace see this is boring this would not make somebody come and watch this video oh she's got cards to show oh yay i don't know i get those people that email me that are like experts youtube experts or whatever and they're like you don't you don't have any seo on your channel um and so then when i go to look that up to figure out what it is they're talking about it's like oh hashtags and stuff and i'm like i or having a description i'm like i have descriptions and i have hashtags in my descriptions, so i don't know what it is they're trying to say other than they want my money probably i mean i'm not expecting this channel to be big time ever it's just a way for me to let off some steam spend some time with you guys chance to talk in a way that's non-threatening for a introvert <laughs> so all right well we've i've taken up enough of your time today and i'm hoping like i said to film something else so thank you so much for watching if you made it this far I think most people only make it about 20 minutes, so I may be talking to nobody at this point, but if you're still here, thank you. I appreciate it. There are several ways that you can support this channel for free, and that would be if you like this video, clicking the thumbs up. If you don't like it, that's fine. You can click the thumbs down. As Hey Everybody says, at least that shows YouTube that it's a real person that's been watching. And you could subscribe. That would be a big help. Um, but otherwise, just your nice comments below are, I read them all, I, and I don't get to them all right away, but I do read them all and comment in some way, or heart it, or, you know, just so you know that I read it. But I just want to thank you for your time and for spending, you know, I know there's lots of other people you could be watching instead, so I appreciate that you spent time with me. And until we meet again, take care of yourself, and... I said that out of order, wherever you are, whenever you are, I hope you're having a great time. And if you're watching the Super Bowl and you have a stake in the game, I hope your team wins. But otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Bye.